So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Simple. So today he's catching a tiger shark. Wait, I'm forgetting something. Before we get into this video, make sure you share, comment, leave a like, tell me what you thought in the comments down below, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. All right, let's get back to the video. First off, I did not know this dude was bald. If I was bald, and he normally wears a cowboy hat, if I was bald, I'd be wearing a cowboy hat too, no cap. Dude, gorgeous. Ah. There you have it. So Look he's in Florida catching the... I would say that the stage is set for me to uh, be stung by lionfish. Okay, let's get into this bucket. Or lionfish, my bad. And let's get back to shore. <laughs> in case you were wondering, this invasive fish will not be released back into the wild. But instead, will be donated to a research group in South Florida. He looks like a young Fat Joe, if y'all know who that is. I actually don't know what Fat Joe does. I think he does music. Alright, so he's pouring water in the tank. I think he's about to put the fish in there. He's got the GoPro in there. Okay. See a tank. He's got a water full of Here comes the uh, fish. Now, a I'm water tank. Scoop it up with this spoon he doesn't want to touch the fish, so he's going to scoop it up with a spoon, as Ready? he just said. Dang, he just popped them in there like that. Wow. You can see the why lion people fish. Them in their aquariums. Oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can see why it's called a lionfish. With those pectoral fins all spread out, it almost looks like the mane of a lion. Now, they're also known as red zebra fish. As you can see, those red stripes kind of make it look like a red zebra. Many different names for this fish, but one thing and one thing only that we know is that this is an invasive species here in South Florida, and they can give you a pretty nasty prick with those spines. Now, let's look at some of the anatomy of this fish. Whew, wow. First of all, those dorsal spines you see running along the top ridge of the fish, all 13 of those are laced with venom. The venom on these spines is actually in grooves that run along the side of it. This dude is crazy. He's um, got bitten by fire ants, bullet ants, Gila monsters, if y'all know what that is, uh, snakes. Personally, I would not be able to do this. This dude is freaking crazy. Personally, I would not be able to do this. And I don't know how he maintains his cool throughout everything that he does. Let's get back to the video. The spines, and you can see those fleshy things hanging off the side, right? Yeah, what did you see that? These are actually sheaths. Bro, what that are you these looking spines at? Are in. So when the fish gets agitated, those spines come through the fleshy sheaths, and then the venom is exposed. So whatever gets, you know, spined onto there has the venom go into its system. So those sheaths actually help put venom on the spines too, right? They do. It kind of lubricates it with venom, and then when the spine goes into your hand, well, that's how the venom enters your body. Now there are a couple different methods that I could use to go about being Yeah, you just let's find how are you gonna do this? This seems really precarious. Well, the most dangerous thing and the thing that would be really unintelligent would be to act 